So let me pull something out of what you just said. It's about developing goals. So, you know, people out there in the public, it's important to understand what's the end of the road. What, it's not just the journey that you, you pay a toll through every five or six minutes because you're buying this or buying that. It's finding out what your goal is and they can come to your office and start developing those goals. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Because everyone wants to be able to, you know, say one day that they don't have to go to work every day. Everyone wants to be able to put their kids through school. Everyone wants to be able to buy a home. But there's a way to do it um, and everyone's situation is different. So really assessing, like I always say, it's like going to the doctor, you know, okay. understanding what your situation is and, you know, looking at, you know, taking the x-rays, taking the tests, helping you understand what your uh, financial snapshot looks like and then being able to make some sound recommendations and being able to execute a plan. You know, we can put together a great plan for you, but if you're not really to, to execute it, then it's really all for naught. Okay, man. So, like I was saying, they come in, someone says they have 10,000. Where would you want them to put their first 10? Or if not all, how would you, would you suggest that they would diversify it? Um, well, there's probably a couple different things that we can do. Um, I typically don't really um, make recommendations um, just outright in an initial meeting okay. um, because of the, you know, like I said, you know, looking at all of the factors that will be involved in what it is that it's for, you exactly. know, looking at if, if it's retirement money or if it's, or if it's just money that they just had sitting in a checking or savings account. Um, mm -hmm. So there are really a lot of options. It's just a matter, again, of, you know, looking at all those factors and then pulling a plan together. All right. Vanessa. I would, pro I, would, I would agree with that. Definitely, um, we're wanting to find out exactly what the next few years has in store for our customer. Um, and we definitely want to make sure that we put them in a plan where they're, they're comfortable and they get the most out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, someone coming in, it depends on their age, what, you know, whether they have small children, whether they're getting ready to retire, uh, whether they need the money in the next six months, whether they don't need it for the next 10 years. If we're looking for maybe diversification, maybe take part of it, put it towards a retirement account. Take part of it, put it towards their children's uh, college education. Take part of it and put it somewhere liquid where they, if they need it in case of an emergency, they have that emergency fund ready and accessible to them as soon as, as soon as they need it. So it's just a matter of us as bankers, as being someone that you trust and can trust, and you know, or, or you know, someone in the financial industry, We'll, we'll help you with that. That's what we're here for. It's it's not easy to when you have the money and trying to figure out where you're going to put it. That and that's what, definitely what we're here for. All so, right. another buzzword was derivatives, and when people are taking their savings to that next level of investing, they're out there in that stock market, and it seems like there's a lot of sharks in the water. What advice would you give someone if they are really ready to go from just basic savings to investing their money and how they can feel safe about their investment choices? Well, um, probably one of the biggest things to understand is to understand um, what options you have in terms of investment products and then understanding the different categories that they qualify into, um, meaning that just in the investment world alone, there are 31 different asset classes. And just with mutual funds, there are over 22,000 mutual funds. So if you're looking to invest, how are you taking advantage of all the asset classes? Meaning, you know, there are, um, there are, there are investments for specifically for large companies, for small companies, for healthcare companies, for utility companies, for biotechnology companies. Um, you know, there are so many different real estate. So looking at all of those different categories, how are you partake, participating in all of those different categories to making sure that you're not putting all your eggs in one basket and you are diversifying? and that you're looking at investments that are going to be, um, you know, that are going to fluctuate, but over the course of time that they are going to uh, outpace inflation and, uh, and ultimately um, grow with more than what you had it at. All right, then, Vanessa, do you have any more? Definitely. Well, in, in our case, we do have <coughs> uh, financial professionals that do handle that part of the business within our branch. Okay. So that's more related to a f where a financial advisor would kind of come in and, 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 and take over. Um, however, we do offer a variety of, you know, of more um, fixed or, or principal protected um, investments. For example, a, a fixed annuity may be something that maybe someone that's a little older in age that's getting ready to retire may want to look at just because it protects the, the, the investment. Um, we do offer, like Amy mentioned, a variety of different uh, mutual funds depending on um, 
you know, how, how risk averse or what, you know, whether or not the individual is, is, is more willing to take a risk, maybe at the same time uh, seeking a higher return is, is okay with, with putting the money out there. So it just depends on the individual. It's very, you know, individually based uh, as far as, you know, what, what investment, not every investment fits just one customer. The, the, several different investments may fit the same customer. It just depends on, on the individual. Okay, then mm -hmm. we're about to go to a short break, but we've definitely learned in this segment that it's case by case and it's very important to go visit your personal banker, but also you have the option of visiting people like Amy who will help you navigate the waters of um, investing and planning your financial future. So um, join us for the next segment and we'll talk more about retirement. Thank you. Fiscally Fit was brought to you by Wycovia Bank, a Wells Fargo company, Eldorado Furniture, and Scholars Today, Leaders of Tomorrow.